creative thinker. I'll be your spectacular host, Zoe Brown. During this bedtime book adventure, we will take a trip with Sparkle as she gets a tough lesson in the meaning of hard work and Run, Sparkle, Run, run by J.C. Cherry. And look, she even personalized it for me. You are unstoppable. Keep shining like the... Keep shining bright like the diamond you are. Set goals and follow through. You can achieve anything you want to be. JC, run, sparkle, run. Run, sparkle, run! I can hear my parents chant from the stand. The final race has just begun. As the spectators clap their hands, the blaring sound of the gun echoes through the air. I then run so fast down the track, but my opponents are much faster than I can bear, as now I have fallen to the back. I finally crossed the finish line, but only in third place. Tears begin to fall from my eyes, because I'm not too pleased with my race. Cheer up, Sparkle, you'll win next time. My dad tries to reassure me, but I want the gold medal to be mine so that all my friends could see. I woke up late the next day, still slightly bummed about my race. Do you want to go outside and play? My mom asks, hoping to put a smile on my face. I whimper and wept to my mom. I don't want to run track anymore. I quit. She gently rubbed my face to keep me calm. Pancakes and bacon will do the trick. We sit and eat at the kitchen table when my mom decides to talk to me. You know, I don't dream or fable, but there's something I need you to see. Sparkle, there's no shortcut to being the very best. You have to get up and off your butt and work harder than everyone else. If you want to succeed in this life, you need to know it will never come free. You have to push forward with all your might to see your dreams become reality. Mommy, you're right, I reply. That's the best advice I've ever heard. I promise this will be the very last time I will ever come in third. I gather every dime I've, that I've earned and used it to go to the gym every day. I took in everything I've learned and applied them in every way. Push-ups, arm curls, squats, and sit-ups. All the exercise, I did it. Then I would drink my protein in my cups, which tastes terrible, I have to admit. Now, I am ready to run again. No one will beat me this time. I am most certain that I, that I will win. The gold medal will finally be mine. The race starter yells, go, and I run fast going north. My running pace still seems slow as I cross the finish line fourth. I thought if you said if I put in the work, I would win. But still, I got fourth, as you can see. There's no difference between now and then the lack of speed that's in my feet. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. Greatness will take some time. Keep working hard and don't ever lose sight. And you'll start to see that your greatness shines. My mom is always great with encouraging me. That's why I love her so much. I will set goals and design my destiny. Because greatness, you just can't rush. I work hard for the next full year with my parents right by my side. My track season is a is finally approaching near. I will be the fastest girl nationwide. This is your first big race. Are you ready to shine? My dad asks with a grin on his face, but all I have is winning on my mind. What do you think about before a race? This time, I was physically and mentally prepared. I stare intensely down the track. There's no part of me that was scared. This 100 meters, I was about to attack. This time, the time has come to run my race. As I stand on the starting line with seven other girls, not only did I just come in first place, I, ha I run the fastest time in the whole wide world. Mommy and Daddy, I did it! Just like you said I would! We told you that hard work pays off if you just don't quit. Both my parents reassured. No matter how tough it may seem, make sure you fully commit. 
Never give up on your dreams, no matter how hard life will get. Always face your fears and attack them head on. Remember to push through in the sweat and tears and stand tall and stay strong. The end. That was a great book to teach us that your talent will only get you so far, so you have to put lots and lots of work into it. I'll see you next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central for Kid Bits with Zoe Brown, Bedtime Book Adventure. Good night.